reconstructing bladders, ureters, and the entire urinary tract. During these reconstructions, it is vital that we know exactly where the pathology is, exactly where the blockage is, exactly what we need to repair. And during the course of this evaluation, we need to drain your kidney, okay? And so how do we drain a kidney in a way that we still can figure out how to fix you? The best way to do this is with something called a nephrostomy tube. Nephrostomy just means kidney, and it's a tube that goes directly into your kidney. I usually show people right through their back, directly into the kidney, and it drains the urine off from above so that whatever is happening downstream from there is no longer in the picture. We don't do this because we like people to be uncomfortable. We do this because it makes your outcomes better. And so having this tube in for a temporary period of time is a bridge to getting you repaired, saving your kidney function, and getting you on to your normal, happy, healthy life again. As a urologist, I am able to put in nephrostomy tubes, but most of the time, we partner with our interventional radiology colleagues who will put the tube in and exchange the tubes whenever they need to be exchanged. The key to these nephrostomy tubes is that because the kidney is blocked downstream, that's the only way the urine can get out. And so what we have to do is make sure that is continually flowing. The kidney is not like the bladder. It doesn't store urine. So as the urine is made, it should be flowing out. So they should always have flow out into the bag constantly in a kidney that has a good function and a tube that is not blocked. Sometimes though, it can be difficult to reach. You might need help. A lot of people do need help with this, and so we try to keep that in mind and set you up for success so that you can take care of these tubes yourself at home.